Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Amsterdam. Two hours and 14 minutes long, a little long. 1930s, three friends witness a murder, or yeah, and are framed for it, and they uncover one of the most outrageous plots in American history. It's only 6.1 on IMDb. How about that? I didn't know that. 17,836 people rated it so far, so that's disappointing. I mean, Christian Bale, Margaret Robbie, John David Thoreau, now hold your horses, because I was looking at this earlier. Chris Rock, Anna Taylor Joy, um, Michael Shannon, Michael Myers, Taylor Swift, Timothy Oliphant, Zoe Sandala, Rami Malek, Robert De Niro. Come on, how can it be a 6.1? They must just show up on the screen and they're gone. I don't know, but I'm gonna get into it, find out what's about, give you a better idea, let you know what I think. So stick around, Maverick will be back. <laughs> Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Amsterdam, and I have to say, I'm surprised. Uh, sorry, no check-in. Um, I'm not I'm quite sure why, but uh, I, I did fall asleep. Um, it's a longer movie, but it wasn't that I was bored. I had a, maybe a couple of Chardonnays uh, before I started this. That's a reference to another movie. But anyway, um, I'm surprised that it's a 6.1. I actually ex expected that I would like it less. <laughs> you know, I came into this not knowing too much about it, except for what I read, and it's a period piece, you know, it's in, you know, way back in time kind of stuff, and it's normally not something I'd get into, very intricate, um, and has a lot of stars in it, and that what I like, but normally that fails for me. Um, I can't give you a reference, um, but for me, I felt like, okay, this is gonna flop or whatever, and I thought with all of these actors in it, and there's some post credit scenes, sorry, I keep looking over there. With all these actors in it, there's probably just cameos. No, they all really had a, besides um, Taylor Swift, the rest of them really had a pretty decent role in this. You know, I mean, it, it's led by Margaret Robbie, um, uh, I almost said Christian Slater, Christian Bale, and uh, John David Washington, they're the three. And that's the thing I love about the whole movie. The whole movie is predicated on a bond between the three of them, a pact they make to be friends forever or whatever. And that, that stuck with me throughout the entire film. That's what the whole film is really, really about. I mean, it is based on a true story that a, a, you know, a fascist regime tried to rise up and take over the government here in the United States. There is some video footage about that. And that's like the overall plot is really what's going down there. And, and all of that, but um, and but for me that was a subplot. Although it is the plot of the movie, it felt like the subplot, the true plot, plot was the three of them being, you know, uh, friends and and being with each other no, no matter time or distance kind of stuff. So that's what I really liked about it. That was the biggest thing. The other thing I really liked was Christian Bale. Um, you know, and I thought about it, I, I took a break to, you know, go to the bathroom and I was thinking about him. And I think about, you know, there's certain actors out there that, that just really can just do anything. Johnny Depp is the one that I've always referenced. I think the guy's, the guy's amazing. And a lot of people, a lot of actors, will do that type of, different types of roles early on in their career. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, um, Billy Bob Thornton, right? Uh, fantastic, don't get me wrong, they can do that. But then... You know, once they get into that, uh, you know, once they've they've made their mark, now they're just certain kinds of actors, only certain kinds of roles. Not Christian Bale, not Johnny Depp, but not Christian Bale. I mean, you know, he has transformed himself. I mean, he was Batman, right? And he has not typed him, not not typecast himself as Batman, as that macho man kind of thing. This is another great role for him, just showing his his. Yeah, you know, if I think about Christian Bale, I think about Batman. I think about some of the other stuff that he's done, too. Um, but like, it's like now it's this one, and it's like he's not a uh, a superhero, you know. I mean, he's a hero. He's a war veteran kind of thing. But he's, you know, beaten down by the war and stuff like that. He's not, um, and he, and he plays a great role, I think. And I think they all played very great roles. Now, um, and I like. John David Washington just because of ballers like that's where like you know, when I think about him as an actor I think okay yeah he was a receiver in the rock TV show the ballers and and I liked them 
but now he's you know gone so far beyond that in all of his roles and here he is again in another role um, that I liked him in. Margaret Robbie, I like her, but didn't stand out to me. No offense, I, I think she's like the, the pretty girl that's in this movie is what I get. And she does good. Um, but really those two, and, and, and that's, she's, um, she's overshadowed by those two, I think. But then you talk about, and, uh, what was her name? The one girl, um, I am sorry. Oh yeah, that's right. Anna, is it Anya Taylor Joy? Like, I've seen her in other things and like, not to be rude, but it's not like I'm going to, oh, I'm going to watch all of her movies kind of thing. Um, like I would with Christian Bale or Robert De Niro or anything like that. I'm obviously going to watch those. But for her, I thought her character in this was pretty cool. She was with Rami Malek, like they're a couple in this, and, and he was good too. But she, like, if you look at the, she took the cake on, on him on that one. She was just this strange character that that I enjoyed watching, you know? Um, and, and, and not in a, like, you know, in, in an acting kind of way. Um, so, I don't know. I thought, I think Chris Rock is in it. You know, he's, he's got a smaller role, but still good. And, and, and it's about, like, veterans and war heroes and everything that I love. So, uh, there's a lot to like about this movie. And I'm really disappointed that it's 6.1 on IMDb. Because I think a, people, a lot of people are going to sleep on it and they're not going to enjoy it. I didn't think I would. I really didn't. I fell asleep at, you know, times. But again, that was for a different reason, not because of the movie. But I stuck it out and I watched the whole thing and I enjoyed it. So, I don't know. This one hit for me, so maybe it'll hit for you. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.